Hello everyone, this is Friend of Rider here, and today I have yet another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one-shot video. So, um, I know I had said last video that I would make another Leo X Raider story, but I'm going to be saving that for the next video, mainly because I finished this one and I desperately wanted to show it off to you guys, because it was just so much fun to make. And it's a lot longer than I had expected it to be, but I still hope that you guys definitely enjoy this. So let's get started. It was incredibly late at night, around 1.30 in the morning when you were out on your apartment's rooftop. You often spent nights up there, blaring your music and playing your electric guitar for all to hear. Some nights you'd fall asleep up there just because it was too com it was so comfortable. You could say that you're a rebel. Your hair was a fair shade of brunette and had streaks of, I mean, streaks of rainbow colors in it. Your hair was also cut to your neck and shaved on one side, so you straight up looked like a metal singer. Though to be fair, you kinda were. You moved to New York to, I mean, to get I mean, to get a job as a sing as a singer and songwriter, and even bought yourself a brand new electric guitar. It was a blood red and bl it was a blood red with black spar with black sparkled across it. With a smile, you looked up at the stars and laid back. As you were enjoying the scenery, however, you were suddenly interrupted by a gruff Brooklyn accent on the other side of the rooftop. Stupid Leo! Where the hell does he get off with this crap? He said as he leaned against the doorway. You couldn't really see him because he was a big distance away and he was covered in shadows. But you were about to say something and when, a, when a loud banging was heard in his direction. You assume he must have punched the wall or something because of how frustrated he was. He froze a for an uncomfortable amount of time and you, and you stood. You think, he might, you think he might have seen you because he started to turn away, turn around and walk away from you. Hey, are you okay, dude? You yelled out. He stopped. He looked back at you and spoke. Yeah. You sure, buddy? Sounds like you hit your hand pretty hard. I can help, he said as you walked closer. That's not a good idea. Why not? He was silent for a second or two before he spoke in a hushed tone. Because you're going to be scared. He scoffed at the thought and walked closer. Please, I've seen plenty of things in my life. So I definitely won't be scared, you said as you looked up at him. Ralph was waiting for it. He was waiting for it to come. For the screaming and the insult. For the fainting or running away. But it didn't come. Instead, you reached forward and grabbed his hurt hand. You examined it gently, not wanting to hurt him. It looks a little purple right here, he said as you pointed to the quickly forming bruise on his hand. Ralph remained silent. Oh, hang on. I got an idea. You then ran back to your side of the rooftop and grabbed a cold apple juice bottle from your bag and ran back over. He placed the bottle on his head, and he groaned lightly at the cool touch on the bruise. Sorry, you're going to get a small bruise tomorrow, but it'll go away as long as you keep it cool. Thanks. How are you not scared? He chuckled at his statement. His voice was so deep it made your knees weak, but you somehow kept yourself standing. He looked back up into his emerald eyes and, and, and felt a slight heat on your face. You're not normal. I'm not normal either. Look at me. I'm not your typical preppy and bitchy girl. But I like that about myself. Who says being normal is a good thing? It's boring as hell in my opinion. He smiled and nodded. You're not wrong. Hey, you want to hear my guitar? Hear me play my guitar? He suddenly said. You and Raph had sat tw down towards the edge of the building and started chatting about random things and you popped the question. He looked at you and smiled. Why not? Go ahead. He said as he fully turned to face you. You grabbed your guitar out of its case and plugged it in, and plugged it and the amplifier in. Once you were set, you started playing Super Psycho Love by Simon Curtis. You even sang the lyrics, which was fun. You weren't one to play for an audience, but this was different. Playing the guitar for someone who was like you. Different. It felt refreshing. Like It, fe it felt refreshing to play for someone who was, diff who was also different. Who was also considered a freak by others. Sadly, though, the song had to end. Once you finished, you looked back up and back down and back down to Raph, and he had a sudden and he had a stunned expression on his face. He chuckled and waved a hand in front of his face. Hey, you all right, Raph? He snapped back to reality and smiled widely. Something told you that he was not one to smile often, but when he did, it was special. You almost felt honored that you could make him smile. He chuckled and sat back down. I get ya. I know I suck. No, that's not it at all. He said as he placed his hand on yours. He looked into his eyes and noticed just how nice they were when they glistened in the moonlight. That was awesome! No way in hell I could play like that. Well, yeah. 
because you only got six fingers, he said playfully. He glared at you and you giggled. You playfully punched his shoulder. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. But thanks. Where'd you learn to play like that? He said. He looked forward at the bright and beautiful city before you two and spoke. I don't know. It's an instinct. When I was a kid, I listened to music all day, every day. I would do an air guitar to my favorite parts and constantly tap my fingers like I was playing the piano for ballads. Music is really the main reason I'm still here. My parents wanted me to become a doctor like them, which, which is how I knew what to do with your hand. But I just couldn't find fun in that stuff. Music taught me that I was different. But it also taught me that there's nothing wrong with that. It's my life. Sounds pretty stupid, doesn't it? He said as he looked back at Raph. Not at all. He said as he held it, ha as he held your hand in his. You intertwined your fingers with his and smiled. Even though it pained him to say it, he spoke. I gotta go. Little Leo will kill me if I stay out any later. He said as he stood back up. He stood up as well and smiled. All right, tough guy. Here, you want my number? He didn't wait for a response as he handed him a business card with your name and number on it. He took it and smiled. You then gave him a nice hug. Before he, and before he could react, you pulled away and grabbed your bag. Talk to you later, Raph. Be sure to beat those Foot Clan members into the ground for me next time you see them. He chuckled and nodded. Not a problem, princess. See ya. He then turned and ran off into the shadows. To be continued. This is a lot longer than my other stories just because of how many words there were on this and everything. And I'm quite proud of it, actually. And I'm really glad that this... Um, I'm really grateful for this work and everything. And um, I've been considering on doing a 900 subscribers video like or a live stream and everything like that. I just haven't made an official decision. But um, if I do end up doing a live stream, I can't do it until the weekend. Most likely because of school and stuff. So I'm going to be pretty busy and everything. Even though it's only a four day weekend, a four day week, week for me. So at least that's something that I get to look forward to. Anyway, guys, this has been really fun, and as always, this is Fenomrider, and I'll be seeing you all very soon. Bye-bye.